you want. If you're looking for a sequel to Batman Begins, I can tell you that I won't be in The Dark Knight. But what I will be in is a sequel to my film Taken. They took my daughter, I took their lives. Now if you don't put me in the sequel, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will beat you. Good luck with Taken 2. Alright, so that was kind of a thing that I just kind of wanted to do on the spot. I didn't write that down or anything before that, so that was that was pretty terrible. I apologize, man. I don't even know what's happening right now. But, uh, yeah, we're talking about Taken 2. And this is a film that majority of people do not like at all. And I totally get it. It's fine. But we, uh, I'm going to be reviewing, obviously, these are all my opinions and my reviews. People have disagreed with me on some of them. And I like when people disagree with me. It's a nice little conversation back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I do not hate this film. I did. When I saw this movie in the theater and I walked out of that theater, I looked at my buddy that I was with, Mike. You've seen him in a couple of my videos. I looked at Mike and I said, that was awful. What the hell was that? Did they just hang over us? They hang over us right there. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Hangover Part 2 basically just did the same thing Hangover did because it was so successful. It just did the same routine again. And that's essentially what Take It 2 did. Um, so... Initially, yes, I hated this film, but when it came on a DVD and Blu-ray and stuff, and the more I watch it, you know, I've kind of grown to it a little bit. Uh, it's still a very disappointing film, and it is, of course, a step down, big, huge step down from that first film. And let's face it, we all knew that the second one wasn't going to be as good as that first film, but I think most of us had high expectations for Take Two. And it is a very disappointing film. Um, let's talk about the plot. So the plot in this movie is, so Kim and Brian and Lenny, they're all kind of, you know, they're, they're safe, they're fine, and Lenny is having some problems with her marriage to Stuart, you know, the guy that was kind of in the first one for a brief second, uh, her new husband that's so filthy rich and everything like that, she's kind of having some marital problems, and uh, I guess they're separated in this film, and... So, Brian Mills, played by Liam Neeson, goes to Istanbul for a job. And, um, he's only going to be gone for a couple days. And he says, look, if you guys want to come to Istanbul for a few days, you know, that's totally fine with me. I'll help pay for everything and whatnot. That way you guys can, can use some time for yourselves. And, uh, seems like a nice thing to do right when they get to Istanbul. Um, we quickly find out in, er in the early... Uh, minutes of the film that all the fathers and the brothers and all that the people who kidnapped Brian Mills' daughter in the first movie all their fathers and brothers want revenge so anyway back to the family in Istanbul um these guys have tracked them down and their plan is to kidnap all three of them yes you're gonna kidnap uh Lenny you're gonna kidnap Kim and you're gonna kidnap Brian that's the plan well it doesn't exactly happen that way um, Lenny gets kidnapped, and Brian gets kidnapped. So Liam Neeson and Fauci Jensen, I'm gonna mispronounce her name, deal with it. Um, they both get taken, but luckily, uh, Brian calls Kimmy up and says, uh, he kind of does this. He goes, Kimmy, listen to me. Your mother and I are going to be taken. Flashback to the first film. What I need you to do I need you to go to the closet and stay there. And remember that guy I told you about? It's in my suitcase. He's giving her instructions as he's about to be taken. And, you know, I was kind of fine with that part, for I guess. I mean, it did try to imitate that speech from that first one. That didn't exactly give me the chills like this first speech did. So, um, you know, he's sitting there on the phone. He's like, Kimmy, there's no time. And uh, I don't I, I just wanted to do it. Um, so. They're kidnapped, and Kim is basically, she's trying to save the day now. Now, she's not going all Liam Neeson badass or anything like that. He's kind of giving her instructions to be badass. And like I said, Take 2 is a big disappointment. It is a step down. I did hate it initially, but now I don't hate it. I'm still disappointed, and I still have problems with it. 
Um, but you know, I've kind of warmed up to it a little bit. I kind of, it's kind of like a, this movie is meh, whatever, whatever. It's, that, that, that's how I feel about Taken 2, um, essentially. Um, the acting, really, my, my same opinions as uh, the first one, there's nothing really changed. Liam Neeson's a badass. Watch Liam Neeson in anything. Tomke Jensen, her character in the first one, I said she was kind of bitchy and I didn't really like her character in the first one, but that wasn't the acting. That, that, that wasn't the problem. The performance was not the problem. It was the way the character was written. And they kind of have improved on that in the, the second one. She's not as um, annoying to me, personally. I, I, I can tolerate her in uh, the second film more than I could in the first one, so that's a good thing. Um, now, Kim, she is in this one a lot more, and a lot of people have more problems with her. I go watch Taken One Review. I defended her, but that was for the first one. The second one, I have no problem with her acting. She's acting the way she's supposed to be. You know, she's a young adult, probably in her 20s by now. And, um, you know, I, th I think that's fine. You know, she's trying to get closer with her family and get her parents back together. That's, I have no problem with that. Um, but however, the character was very, very poorly written. I do not like the fact that she was throwing grenades off rooftops so Lee Nace could hear her so he could escape, so he can come out and be a badass. I didn't like the whole thing that she was kind of like the next Brian Mills in training kind of thing. I didn't like that at all. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the villain. Um, the villain, we didn't really know the villains too much in the first one. We were trying to track them down, find out who they were, you know, why, we kind of knew why they were doing it from the get-go, but, um, you know, this film, the villain, the fathers, it, it makes sense. I get it. Um, from a writing standpoint, I really had no problem with the father and all of them kind of wanting revenge and all that. I mean, I, I, I get that. It's, again, it's meh, whatever. But <clears throat> I wish the villain would have been a little bit more terrifying, though. At least have the main father, like the father of the one that got electrocuted and shit. Um, at least have him be more intimidating and more of a threat. Um, because he's not a threat, really, at all. He just wants to kidnap him and just pretty much let him die. Um, it's just, whatever. I wish he would have been a little bit more intimidating. I wish he would have scared him a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. These films, I'm going to take something from, uh, The Honest Trailers. If you guys watch The Honest Trailer for Taken, you guys are going to get this. Um, basically what these movies are trying to teach you is don't go to Europe. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> But yeah, Taken 2, it's a disappointment, but I still kind of have fun with it here and there. Got a lot of problems, but for what it is, I don't have that big of a problem with it as I did when it first came out. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Taken 2, I'm going to give it a C-. minus. Um, it's not a terrible film in my opinion, but it's a way big step down, you know what I mean? Um... So Taken 2, have you guys seen it? Because I know a lot of people kind of skipped this one because of all the bad reviews that were coming out of it. Um, so if you guys have seen Taken, let me know down below if you guys like it or if you guys don't like it because a lot of people hate it, but I know some people out there who do like it. And that's totally cool. Um, so yeah, that's Taken 2. He's gonna find you. He's gonna kill you. Oh, see you later.